There are so many beautiful boat designs these days that can be built in a garage with plywood and epoxy. Boats for rowing, paddling, sailing and motoring. Or just looking at as you sip a cocktail on the beach. If you've been thinking of building your own dream boat, but the mystery of working with epoxy has put that dream on hold, well, it's time to clean up the garage. Because this new video series will show you how to master the most difficult techniques to get incredible, professional results, including how to mix, bond, fillet, fiberglass, and end up with a perfectly smooth finish. We're bringing you straight to the shop of the master himself, Russell Brown, who wrote the book on building boats with epoxy. Literally. Russell's been building all kinds of beautiful, radical, fast boats out of epoxy and wood for decades. And he sailed his boats in offshore conditions from Maine to the South Pacific. He's going to show you all his tricks and secrets for getting the same results he gets on his own boats. We sell kits for wood epoxy boats and the thing that our clients have the hardest time with is the fillets. And what is a fillet? That's a fillet. It's, a, it's basically a way to tie two surfaces together, whether it's a bulkhead to a hull panel or a deck to a hull pretty much anything and it's very structural it's basically like welding you're you're welding two pieces together but it's instead of working with liquid metal you're working with liquid plastic just a little bit of glue can make it that strong and i know we can break that should we break it <laughs> oh my god Oh my God. <laughs> I would call that successful. Epoxy is really quite amazing stuff. So we're gonna mix a batch using these mini pumps. And we're just gonna mix one pump. We'll depress the pump all the way to the bottom and all the way to the bottom. We're pretty religious about stirring the epoxy, thoroughly mixing. The first thing we always do before filleting is prime. We're priming surfaces that have already been glassed and fill coated and sanded. To work through any residual dust layer that's present on the surface. I like to use a bigger cup when I'm mixing fillers in because it's, it's easier to mix in a bigger cup. So one of my favorite filleting tools is the squeezy bag. And it is just a Ziploc freezer bag. I'm gonna just drop this whole batch in there. Pull the bag back right side out. With a clean stick, we work the thickened epoxy into the corner, pinch it right there, snip the end off. So the first thing that we're gonna fill it is an easy filleting job because we have mostly outside corners. And let's see if we can run over it again. Yep. And then I'll lay the stick back at a flatter angle. And then go back to 90 degrees. So these, these I call them chisel sticks. I call them that because they're sharpened like a chisel. I sharpen them on a little sanding block. And there's always a burr and you kind of fold it over and Try to get the burr off, do it again. And these ones are made out of um, 1 32nd inch uh, G10 fiberglass sheet that I get from McMaster Car. 
but you can make them out of just a normal tongue depressor and they work just fine being made out of wood. The only thing is they have to be really thin and flexible and light because they'll often twist themselves into being flat with the surface, whereas a stiffer thing, you'd have a hard time getting it to lay flat. Um, you do have to fold over the burr a couple of times and keep, keep getting the burr off to get a really sharp edge. So these are the kind of fillets where the, the cleanup with the chisel stick is, goes really fast. It's, it's just dead easy. You're just running both edges of the fillet all the way around. We use various different sanding tools to sand fillets um, and to prep areas before fillets. The only way to really get them is with uh, something that kind of mimics the radius of the fillet. This boat and this type of boat building really depends on fillets. There's really a lot of linear feet of fillets just in this little boat. That's why it pays to get really good at doing them. If you have the right technique, they can come out really clean and not require much sanding, look good. So that's just a little taste of what's to come in this 10 part video series on mastering the use of epoxy. Next, Russell will take us way deeper into how to handle more complex fillets then he'll move on to mixing, bonding, and fiberglassing, showing all the tricks and techniques he's developed over decades of building radical wooden boats. Mastering the use of epoxy at this level is the difference between truly enjoying a project and wishing you're enjoying a project.